How are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look at what I've got. I was in Aldi having a look around and I noticed this was I'm New. Crestwood 2 Puff Pastry Minced Beef and Onion Chip Shop Pies. British Beef and Onions Topped with Puff Pastry. And what caught my eye was the chip shop. It was drawn in, suckered in. Little a traffic light system for the nutrition. And I notice it's the 26th of October. I got them today and it's the 26th of October today. I got the last one and that's why. <laughs> Gotta be eaten today. Luckily they are. They were £1.79 pence for two pies, which works out at 89 and a half pence a pie. So uh, let's have a look at the packaging. I had to have a look in my playlist to see if I've done them before and it never came up. Made with 100% British beef. That's always good, isn't it? So let's go around the back. Um, there is some nutritional information in more detail. If you want to pause it and have a look at that, by all means, go ahead. 300 grams, 2 times 150 grams. GB sticker there. They are the ingredients. The allergens are wheat and milk. We've got minced beef, 22%. Onion, 15%. Yeah, quite a few ingredients. So they are the ways to cook and we've got some spiel there which I will read out. Short crust pastry base filled with minced beef and onion in gravy topped with a puff pastry lid. You do them in the oven look. Directions for use. Ready to eat. Can be eaten hot or cold. So if you want you can get one out and munch on it. Or alternatively stick them in the oven which I am going to do. And I like a nice warm pie. Fan 170, 20 to 25 minutes. Electric 190, 20, 25. Gas 5, 20, 25. Ah, let's get these open and see what we have got. Yeah, never got a discount because it's of the same day, you see. Maybe if that was coming to end at day, they might have stuck a yellow sticker on. But I've not seen many yellow stickers on the old Aldi products before. Um, oh. Well, I've got into them anyway without butchering them. There they are. Well, I'll just double check them and make and have a, I'll have a sniff, have a whiff, make sure there's no nasty smells coming from it before I eat it, obviously. It'll be okay anyway. I normally, if it's over the dates, depending what food it is, give them a smell and give them a good looking at before I eat them. Anyway, there it is. There's your short crust pastry and there's your puff pastry lid and obviously your fillings inside. So the big question is... Chip shop. Why has it got chip shop on the front? Now, yeah, you get minced beef and onion pies from your chippy. But I was sucked in by the chip shop. I must admit, I was drawn in. The marketing did its job. I mean, well, we'll see what they're like when you try them. There was no reference. I was expecting maybe some kind of sort of flavour of chip shop curry sauce but it just says short crust pastry base filled with minced beef and onion gravy maybe it's supposed to replicate getting a, a minced beef and onion pie from your local chippy what's that got to do with chip shop i mean what's these got to do with chip shop surely it should just be minced beef and onion pie well the marketing worked we'll see we'll see so let's get them in the oven. So they're going in for 22 minutes. I will check them. Both going in. We're going on the bake setting, fan 170. And um, I'll bring you back periodically. They are suitable for freezing as well. And I, and I did read it says um, keep them in the foil containers when you put them in the oven. And um, don't microwave them neither. Uh, and if you, if you are, take that foil off. Well, you'll have yourself a personal firework display and it's, it's coming up as the old bonfire night. But please don't microwave them in that foil. Top tip. And it says on them, not suitable for microwaving. It's done. 
let's get it out we've got a soggy bottom <laughs> we have a soggy bottom you can see it can't you if I push it in push it in too far yeah it did say do it in the foil maybe take it out try it anyway it's all going down the hatch soggy or not Let's get it cut in half and we'll have a look at it. I mean, it's 89 pence. Minced beef and onion, chip shop pies. <laughs> oh, that chip shop pie thing's got to do with it. Um, we've got, it's all soggy. I'll show you. It's smelling nice, it's smelling good. Let's have a look. 22% beef in there. Can't expect too much for 89 and a half pence. <laughs> but that looks okay, that doesn't it? That looks okay. Right, it's taste test time. There they are, I've cut them into quarters. It's, so I've just come out of a chip shop now uh, and I've got a pie. The thing is, I'm going to have to have a load of chips with it and a load of curry sauce and a load of gravy and bread and butter. Um, yeah, chip shop. Good marketing ploy. I think it's supposed to sort of, yeah, sort of make you feel like you've got it from a chippy. So let's get into it. I'm quite happy with the filling though, and it smells good. I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna get into it. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely, the filling, the gravy. The tasty, it's it's good. That is a lovely taste. There's a bit of crust there and a bit more filling. Mmm. Oh, that is a lovely flavour. Wow, there's more filling in there, look. That is, they're tasty. Goodness me, they are tasty. I'll just blow that because it was a bit hot, that one. I don't know how new these are. Not seen them before. Mmm. Oh, they are tasty. Oh, yeah. I like these. I do. Thank you, Nan Benz. I can't put it on that, that gravy. It's, it's, well, the minced beef's lovely as well. No, no gristle. Not, not come up against any gristle while I've been eating it. And if I do come up against any nasties, I will put a link in the description. I'll put, not a link. That's wrong. I'll just put it in the description of the video. It'll be underneath the video, you'll see like, description, more, it'll be in there. I have got a pie playlist as well, I'll put that in as well, just click on that and I've got loads of pies you can have a look at. But I'm happy with that, that is tasty. Mm. Minced beef and onion. I'm doing exactly what it says. You taste the onion as well. The gravy is lovely. Pastry is good. Like I said, just need a load of chips now. And a load of gravy over the top of it. They are good. I like them. They're, they're, they're a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'll definitely buy them again. They're hot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That is good. I've demolished it. I've got my fork there just to get these little last, last bit because they are quite hot. You've got to let them cool down. Mmm. Yummy. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much for watching. 
please let me know what you think in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can very nice very nice indeed so take care apologize for talking to me mouthful all the best and I'll get back to you on the next one